654-959 on the street, on the air. 959 breakfast. So was she starting her day on 959? Her name is Carol Shabalala, the first lady of sport. We'll bring you the best all the time we serve this breakfast nice and hot carol you've maintained relevance and hotness for for years man she <laughs> has <laughs> hey. for She's... years man hey i'm gonna ask the cheesy question what is your secret my secret is um, just having a zest for life, you know, and a passion for what I do, a love for what I do, and always counting my blessings. You who's, know? who are some of your mentors, like earlier on, or people who inspired you? Because, like you said, there weren't many women doing what you're doing. And mm. did you get to work with some of those people who inspired you and mentored you earlier on? Um, I mean,. And inspiration, once I was in sports, you know, people like our Serena Williams is, you know, someone oh, wow, yeah. who's making it big and I got an opportunity to meet her um, at Whoa. the, yeah, at the Olympic Games in Brazil at the Athletes Village, which was unbelievable. But um, in terms of mentorship... Uh, I, I know when I was starting out uh, with the national broadcaster, Martin Locke, uh, was one oh. individual um, who mm. really like kind of trained and mentored myself for Robert Marawa, you know, mm. people like that. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think I think he was a major influence in terms of when I was starting out and the direction that I took. Yeah, let's chat about the different shows that you've done and the different work that you've done. I mean, you've you've done quite a number of shows. Which ones are the ones that really stand out for you? Um, shows or events? <laughs> shows, 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 as in TV shows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. television yeah. shows that stand out. Um, oh, there've been so many. Um, obviously, when I was starting out in my career, Mabaleng was the big one because that was the biggest platform at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. at the SABC, Mabaleng was the biggest platform on a Saturday. Everyone was tuned in. Had been previously hosted by like standout individuals. Uh, Robert, I believe, hosted it. Uh, before me, Umafa, um, Umax um, Maponyani hosted it. Martin Locke mm. hosted it. That was like the main show at the SABC. And when I got an opportunity yeah. to be on that platform, that was huge. So we that was like on, yeah. my yeah, that was like the show that really catapulted me, you know, in, in terms of my career. Um, yeah. I've had so many different shows. Um, what else stands out? Uh, I'll fast forward to obviously now um, with the with Super Sport, the World of Champions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, shows like um, Extra Time was a show that was fantastic. It was really stand out for me as well. Every Monday night, just getting that opportunity to preview, review matches. Um, and now my own show, Carol's Odyssey, which is also on Super Beautiful. Sport. For me, that's like a major, a highlight. major highlight in my career. Yeah, because I get an yeah. opportunity to travel across the continent mm -hmm. and to really talk to those um, sporting, African sporting icons. Many, many uh, of whom we've kind of forgotten, you know, like major, major African icons that really set the bar yeah. and shone at a time when it was so difficult for Africa to be, to be recognized. If you had the opportunity to, like, you know, interview someone who's now passed on, who would it be? Like a sporting great oh. that you'd always wanted to but never got the opportunity? Who's now passed on? Um, maybe I would say... Wow, this is a difficult one. Mm. I mean, I'm a... Mm. Boxing fan, in so I would say was, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. <laughs> in my head, <laughs> Muhammad Ali. I've been in 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 his presence. Yeah, I remember wow. um, not so long, well, some time ago, he came uh, to Empress Palace for a big fight, and I was sitting just behind him, and I was just like <gasps> in awe. Yeah, so I never got God. an opportunity. I would have said uh, marvelous Marvin Hagler, mm. but I did get an opportunity to interview him. So yeah, I'd, I'd have to say Muhammad. The irony at a casino where people box their money. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. See what you did there. It is a header to top of the hour. We're looking for our 959 Breakfast Champs. Carol, we hang out with kids on this show. Uh, we encourage them to call us. And when they do call in, they pick one of us in studio to ask a very tough question to. So that's coming up on the flip side of the news.
10 after 7, your Tuesday edition of uh, 959 Breakfast. Hanging out with Carol Chabalala, starting her day here. So, Carol, you were the first African to host um, the Ballon d'Or, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you've... uh, Come on. (laughs) I mean... First, and I'm I'm very excited about that, but sadly, still only. See, I don't like it. Since 2011, no African has... Hosted it. Uh uh-uh. uh. I know. How was that experience though? Unbelievable. Can you imagine? I can imagine. Mind blowing. Sure. It was wow. Who won it that year? Messi. Um, I think. it was Messi. Yes. So you met him? Messi. Of course. Met the top three. Whoa. Xavi, Ronaldo. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the life you live is amazing. Carol. Yeah, unbelievable. In- Carol, just before we wrap it up with you, I mean, the World Cup is here, oh. right? It's in about uh, two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, how far are we from the World Cup? What are we? Th- uh, 13 days. Mm. Yeah, about, about two weeks, if I'm yeah, not mistaken, yeah, right? Yeah, two weeks. Just under, mm-hmm. just under. Are we to expect a world-class <gasps> analysts as always? And who are some of the names uh, to look forward to? Oh, on Supersport, always world-class. This is going to be my fifth world cup that i'm working on so i'm really really Whoa. really excited well about this one um world-class individuals michael owen is Whoa. going to be in studio we don't want to release like everyone michael owen is going to yeah. be there ghana has qualified so asma jian baby jet who was a big big hit um yeah. during our afcon broadcast he's going to be coming through wow. Spain, Gaizga Mendieta is going to be there um, for for Spain, mm-hmm. obviously rooting for them and everyone else. Um, and I am going to be on the ground. I'll be in Qatar with none other Beautiful. than Dwight York. So that's going to be fantastic. And what what are some of the shows we can catch? I know that you guys will convert the the, the, the PSL channel to FIFA World Cup Central, right? Yeah, we certainly are. There's going to be a whole, um, besides our, our live broadcast, all 64 matches live and in 4K. But we're going to be having uh, magazine programming. Marharba uh, Qatar is going to be one of those. Marharba means hello in ah. Arabic. Uh, we'll be having master <laughs> plan as always. Yes, master plan as always, just to break down, mm. give you all of the um Tactical analysis of the teams and get you prepared. Super Saturday is still going to be on every single Saturday and it's going to be World Cup uh, focused. Oh. Uh, we'll have a lot of World Cup insights and Super Picks. A lot of you love Super Picks because it's so relaxed um, and that's our big show on an online platform. So Can I add something? Yeah. I'll also be hosting Twitter Spaces, World Cup Twitter Spaces Whoa. via the Super hey, Sport Twitter account. That's going to be fresh. That's going to be dope. Social media is going to be big it's gonna be at this World Cup. Yeah. yeah. So we, we're excited about and it. I heard, I heard some lucky fans will be uh, invited to the studios there at Supersport. I heard mm-hmm. something like that as well. Mm-hmm. So oh, keep watching to hear more and um, be a part of the, the team, be a part of the plans. Oh, man, thank you so much for starting your day on 959. Like how crisp it is to have you wake up so early to come hang out with us. Super dope. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Carol. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. Starting her day on 959, Carol Shabalala. Thank you very much. So what's your day looking like from here? From here, uh, I'm going to be heading home, uh, do some shopping with mom. And then later on, I'll be headed back to my other home in uh, Hroblesdal, Nyes Kukune. Ah. <laughs> ah, Mrs. S. We yeah. see you. <laughs> Mrs. S. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Bye, Donkey, my friend. Thank Ons you. Genit jou dag, hoor. It's all bye, Donkey.